So you want to use CarPlay with your new CVO. If you see my setup video, I show you how to connect it. But since then, I've learned a few things. And there's been a lot of feedback from owners that CarPlay just is not reliable on these new bikes. So I wanted to dig in and see if there were any options to help us out with this CarPlay. And also, I wanted to see if there were any better options to get around the headset issue. So let's start by taking a look at Apple's website about CarPlay. So on Apple's support page, they show you how to connect to CarPlay. First, you have to have Siri enabled on your phone. And then they show you can connect with your USB uh, cable. You must use an approved Apple cable. I do recommend finding your original Apple cable. A lot of aftermarket cables will not connect the data that you need for CarPlay. So I would find it. The document then goes into how to connect your CarPlay via wireless. So you can actually do this with your 23CVO, but you're gonna have to connect the phone via Bluetooth first. Once you have that, then you can connect CarPlay wirelessly. So this is what I did in my original setup video. But one of the challenges I believe with CarPlay is that wireless connectivity and having Bluetooth and CarPlay both connected at the same time. I believe that the new system is really struggling to pick between Bluetooth and CarPlay and it gets confused and you, you can't get your CarPlay to show up. So what I wanna do in this video is just connect CarPlay. We will not connect our phone via Bluetooth at all. That does mean you won't get the additional information about your bike in the HD app. But beyond that, as long as you use CarPlay, you're really not missing out on anything. So they talk about here in the document that you can uh, connect via the Apple CarPlay button on the steering wheel, which we do not have. Then they say on your phone, go to settings, general CarPlay and available cars. Um, I've tried that, it does not, not show up at all. But then it says down here, some vehicles that support wireless CarPlay allow you to pair by simply plugging your iPhone into the vehicle's USB port using a Lightning or USB-C to USB cable. If supported, after you start CarPlay using USB, you are asked if you want to pair wireless CarPlay for future use. So if we follow that, in theory, we can set up CarPlay without connecting our phone to Bluetooth. Let's take a look. So to pair your phone to CarPlay only on your Harley, you'll need to have your phone handy, a headset that's already paired to the bike, a certified lightning cable, and then maybe a USB A to C adapter, depending on what Apple certified cable you have. So the bike is currently off, and we will start by powering on the headset. So this is my old 20S. It'll work with the 50S as well. You do not have to have your, head, your headset connected to your helmet to power it on. So this is charged and it's previously paired with the bike already. So we'll start by turning it on just as, as if it were on your helmet. So we'll hold the two buttons down and it'll start uh, to blink. We'll take our cable and in my case, I have an A, so I'm going to go from A to C adapter. We'll pop up our compartment, locate our cable, connect that. And at this point, you're going to want to leave your phone disconnected. Don't connect this cable just yet. So now we're going to power on the bike by holding down the trip switch button. That'll put it in accessory mode. You don't need the ignition on. So we'll hold that down. Obviously, you need your key fob present or nothing will happen. Maybe your alarm will go off and we'll wait for the bike to boot. Okay, so with the bike booted, we'll now connect the cable to our phone. The phone is just there on the lock screen. And you can see CarPlay starts. We have the CarPlay logo. It says I need to unlock to finish setting up CarPlay, so we'll unlock it. And it says allow CarPlay to be used while the iPhone is locked. We'll allow that. And then it says, would you like to enable wireless CarPlay or use USB only? So in my little bit of testing, I can tell you that the use USB only 
is your best option to make sure CarPlay starts up. If you enable wireless CarPlay, it's going to create a Wi-Fi network on your phone between your phone and the bike. And this is where I think some of the problems start. You know, the bike boots up and it doesn't connect. So you're going to end up going to Device Manager and starting CarPlay manually, I think, frequently. So if you're on a longer road trip and you're going to be getting on and off the bike for long periods of time, I'd recommend you use the USB only. But that does mean you have to have the cable connected the entire trip. But as you get off the bike and disconnect and reconnect, it'll re reliably connect for you. So that is your choice. If you do use the wireless option here now, and then decide later you don't like it, you can go to the Wi-Fi networks on your phone and delete the Wi-Fi network between your phone and the bike, and that will disable it, and then your USB only. Or you can unpair the device and redo this process and choose USB only. So if we choose USB only, and then we uh, get off the bike and disconnect the phone, you can see that CarPlay disappears immediately from the screen. If I reconnect the cable, CarPlay starts back up pretty reliably. There is one other option to consider. If you do pair your phone via Bluetooth and CarPlay, you can go to the device manager, your iPhone, and then connection settings. In there, you can turn off phone and media. So if you turn those two off, the bike may ignore the Bluetooth on the phone and just use the connection to CarPlay. I've not been able to test this one, but this may also work. If you give it a try and you find it works, let us know in the comments. So I'm not saying you can't use wireless CarPlay. It is a really nice feature not to have to have cables connected, but I think you are gonna struggle with it connecting. Now connecting just CarPlay without any Bluetooth connection to the phone, I believe helps. So I think I found it to be much more reliable without the Bluetooth connection. But if you're frustrated with it and don't mind having the wire connected, using the USB option is the most reliable way. Plus it charges your phone while you're riding. So I think on longer road trips, this might be the better option and then switch back to wireless CarPlay when you're not. In order to use CarPlay on the 23 CVOs, you must have a headset connected. During the week, I rock this three quarters helmet, which has the built in speakers and my Senna 20S mounted. So that works really well. But on the weekends, I like to live a little free and I go with a half helmet. And this does not lend itself to a headset at all. So if you want to use CarPlay with your half helmet, you can take off your headset module and then turn that on and it'll connect and allow CarPlay to work. But you must have this charge and you have to secure it somewhere, either in your pocket, in the saddlebag, or in the compartment up front. The beauty of this though is it will work if you're charging it. So you can connect your uh, micro USB cable and then connect that to the USB-C cable on your bike and that will charge while you're riding. So in theory, you could ride a really long time without this going dead. But you're going to end up storing it in that front compartment and this is a little valuable and it would really suck if this were stolen. So I began to think what other options might there be? I wondered if there'd be something smaller that would fit in this compartment and maybe not be so valuable should it be stolen. Ideally, it would connect to this USB-C cable and charge. So you wouldn't have to think about charging it before you went on a ride. You just turn your bike on and the headset would power up and connect. So I tried all kinds of options. I started with little in-ear Bluetooth headsets. Most of these would lose their connection, however, when you connected it to power. I tried uh, a little USB speaker. This actually did work. It connected and it would play sound out of it. So you had to remember to switch it back to speakers instead of the Bluetooth speaker. It was small. It has a USB-C connection and it was easy to power on and off. It would not power on by itself, but when you turn the bike off, it would shut itself off after a few minutes. Then I tried this little remote control option. This also worked. 
This would power itself off after a few minutes after shutting off the bike, but it would not power itself on when you turned on the bike. One little bonus was that the buttons worked. You could advance your song or go backwards, but I'm not sure why you do that. But it's small and not valuable and easily fits in that compartment. In the end, I found these. An old demo pair of Bluetooth headsets from Harley that you got free when you spent so much money. These were unique in that they work when they're being charged. They easily fold up and fit in the compartment. And if they get stolen, I didn't pay much for them to begin with. Bluetooth devices that present themselves as headsets will work. Anything else won't. I also tried a wired headset without any luck. It just doesn't see it present. So there you go, my take on CarPlay and the new 23 CVOs. Hope is still out there that we'll see some software updates to make this stuff more reliable. I will say in the end, I have just stopped using CarPlay. I'm using the built-in Bluetooth options and I'm really enjoying it. I think the built-in interface is actually very good and it works really well. Without CarPlay, I'm having way fewer connection issues and the phone works nicely, music works nicely, podcast works nicely, you can actually browse different media types on your phone with the built-in interface and it works nicely. Maybe I'll do a future video on that one. But until next time, in the Friction Zone.